Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Fenty Beauty review. As you can tell by the title, I am so excited to review these products. Rihanna is one of my favorite people ever and when I found out that she had this makeup line coming out, I had to check it out. So I went into Sephora and I picked up two items from the collection. I try to keep myself from going crazy because this collection is something that's going to be permanent at Sephora. So there's always room to go back and get other um, items from the collection. I picked up the Pro Filter Foundation in the color 370 and I picked up the Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy White. I chose to pick up these two items because they were like the most raved about and supposedly these are like some of the most exciting items from the collection when i seen this highlight and trophy wipe y'all i had to try these like this highlight is life for real like this highlight rihanna did her thing with this one so i have not tried these big products on my face just yet I've only played with them in the store, so you guys will be getting my first impression on the Fenty Beauty products. So to start off um, with my face, I'm going to prime it, and I'm just using the Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline, and I'm going to place that all over my face. All over. I will color correct like spots on my face like this and this here but today I'm not going to color correct because we're testing out this foundation and I really want to know how well of coverage it's going to give me so I'm not going to color correct today so the foundation it looks like this. It's in a frosted like glass bottle. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen the foundation if you're watching this video because it's been all over the internet. Like it's all over Instagram, Facebook, all of that. So it's in it's really cute packaging. My opinion is she did her thing. I'm gonna be kind of biased because I love Rihanna, but she did her thing with the packaging as well. So I'm gonna shake up the foundation. And I'm just going to apply two pumps to the back of my hand. Okay, one, two. So I'm going to start off with just two pumps. First off, the foundation is kind of liquidy. It's not as liquidy as the NARS, but it's kind of runny. So I'm going to dot this all over. And this 370 shade that I picked is in a warm tone. Um, I went ahead and got warm because I like I, I like warmer tone foundations on me. I kind of have like yellow undertones in my face, so that works better for me. If you don't know, she has 40 shades, so she has a ton of options when it comes to finding your shade. She has cool tones and um, she has cool tones and she has warm and neutral tones. I'm taking this damp Real Technique sponge and that's what I'm going to use to blend out my foundation. Starting on my cheek. So first off, um, my first impression of this foundation is that it's really light coverage. Like you would probably need to build this up if you wanted more coverage because I can still see all of my moles and things throughout my face. So it's really light coverage. Go ahead and Blend my forehead. Now, as far as my forehead goes, it's not matching me that well because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face. But I usually can make it work for me. When I go in with my contour, it won't matter. So this is one full application 
of the Pro Filter Foundation. I still can see a lot of my blemishes on my face. So me personally, like right now I have a breakout here and I have a dark spot here. I don't really like for those to show. So I'm going to go back in with probably two more pumps. Well, no, one more pump because that was a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to try to go back over some of the spots that I have trouble in. Like my cheeks right here. I'm going to go back in. And then my forehead right there. And I'm just pressing the foundation down into my face. So usually when I blend out my foundation, I do this bouncing motion off my face with, with the Beauty Blender sponge. So bounce, bounce, bounce off. Can y'all see this? I mean, it's really sheer. It's a it's a sheer foundation. Let's just say that it's not a full coverage. It's more more so like a light coverage foundation. So if you go for full coverage, then this may not be the best foundation for you. But me personally, I like lighter coverages, so it's fine for me. So now that I have applied the foundation fully, I'm going to go in with the contour and highlight. Um, I normally use this LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa, so that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm just applying a little bit to my cheek. Um, and I'm only going like halfway down. So I'll speed through these next parts. Because y'all are not here for this. Y'all are here for the Rihanna Fenty Beauty product review. No, the lighting. So I had to run and grab my ring light real quick because my lighting situation went real dull on me. But back to the regular scheduled program, I just contoured and highlighted. That's all I have done so far. So um, I'm going to move right into my eyes. I'm going to do something really simple with my eyes. I'm going to just do wing liner and lashes. So I've added my lashes and my mascara. So now I can go back in with the Kilowatt highlighter and Trophy Wife. So this is what I was most excited about. This was the first thing that I picked up from the collection. This is what I seen everybody talking about. So I was, I had to have it. So I'm gonna do a swatch of this Trophy Wife and it's on my finger and I'm just going to place it here on my arm first and it's beautiful like very pigmented highlight I'm using just this little small Kabuki brush to brush it out like this highlight is everything y'all so let me go ahead and go in with this like I'm so scared I don't even know how to apply it I think I'm going to be safe and like do little three dots and then brush it out Y'all, y'all, do y'all see this highlight? Yes, yes, Rihanna, yes, yes, yes. So me being extra, you know, I like my highlight popping. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more and blend for my life. See this highlight though, it's very, very, very bold. Now, this is not what I would call an everyday highlighter. Um, this is like if you want to be very extra. Side of my face, I'm going to apply it straight with the brush. I'm going to blow some of that out. Yes, it's the same beautiful highlight. And this time, I'm going to apply it a little bit heavier. 
so that you can see the difference. If you want to do like a fold or like a subtle, or if you want to do like bow, bow, bow. My eye, I like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I need to blend it. This, this, this a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. It's all in my hair, y'all. My hair is glistening, <laughs> glistening. But yes to the yes to the trophy wife. Like I knew this was gonna be a yes for me, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this. But I'm like over here, this side of my face, because I tried to apply it heavily. I can't, I think I look like a, ooh, I look like a statue for real. Let me, let me do something about that. Let me do something. Okay, we're going to tone it down a little bit. This normalized skin finish. Whoa. Like, this ain't even toning it down, y'all. Like, it's just that power. And it's like loose glitter. So, oh, that's why I keep going back in with the same brush like an idiot. Trying to blend it. Oh, I look like a some glitter exploded on my cheek. So don't use a lot. Don't use a lot of this at all. Stuff then gave me like the chills because I'm over here glistening like a big trophy for real. So it's a lot of glitter. A lot, lot, lot of glitter. You want to use this stuff with a light hand. Um, I think this would be good to use as like a eyeshadow. Let's see, I wonder what this look like on your lips. So I'm gonna take like a concealer brush and I'm going to get some of it. Oh my god! Ugh. And I'm gonna do this as a lip color. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Y'all, I'm looking like a, uh, I don't even know. I'm looking like the people off of, um, if y'all ever seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the gold people on there, that's what I feel like right now. Just like a gold statue. So this is what it looks like on your lips. I probably would never go anywhere like this, but for an idea for someone who may want to know how this works other than just highlight, you can use it as a lip color like this. So I'm gonna put some gloss over this, see if that helps. Uh, no. Ew. Ew. It turns into like a, a weird shade it's because i'm using a colored gloss like maybe it's just a clear gloss would have done this a little bit better i don't have a clear gloss i'm using like a sheer like nude sheer color gloss as a lipstick i personally would not wear this anywhere so i'm going to take this off this is uh no go is a lipstick for me, but I wanted to be able to show that it can be used as a lipstick. So my overall review on these products is I love the foundation. I love that it's a light wear and you don't have to worry about um, it being too heavy on your face. Like it feels very light on my face. It feels like skin, like I have nothing on almost like if I didn't do all the contour and highlight I felt like I had nothing on my skin now as far as the highlighter I think this is a great highlighter just because the pigmentation of it is awesome I love her packaging on this this is just like a cute little octagon shape um, she did really well with the packaging now, is this a highlighter that I feel like everybody needs in their collection? No, but if you're really into highlighters, then yes, it's something fun that you could play with. But, I mean, it's really bold. So, for the everyday person, I don't see anybody wearing this daily because it's not like a subtle highlight that you could just throw on. It's 
very bold. Even when I tried to do the dots and use like the teeniest bit, it's still very bold. Like I feel like I'm over here looking like a gold statue. If that highlight is something that everyone needs, the foundation, um, I'll let you be the judge because if you're really into foundations and you like to have a variety of different types of foundation, like full coverage, sheer glow, um, light coverage, everyday foundation, this is a great everyday foundation. It's very light on coverage and it is um, very easy to blend. It was not very stiff. Like once I put it on, I kind of, you see, I dotted it all over. So of course I worked on this portion of my face first and I worked my way up. But by the time I got to my forehead, it still was not too stiff to blend. I noticed with some foundations, they're like dry by the time I worked my way around. And I did that purposely to see how fast it dries. It does dry fast, but not too fast that you can't blend it all in. So overall for these products by Rihanna, I give them both a 8 out of 10. I think that they are great products for her to be coming out with her own beauty products, fresh and new. I think that these are killing the game right now for her to come out with 40 shades of foundation. That is like awesome because a lot of brands don't cater to darker skin women like my skin tone or maybe a shade darker than me is like usually where they stop when it comes to women of color. And women of color go far further than that. My sister is a darker skin girl and she want to have foundation for herself as well. So I think that it was great that Rihanna catered to all shades, all undertones. So therefore, I give her a 10 out of 10 on coming out with that. These products are great. Do you have to run out and buy them immediately? No, it is a permanent line. So don't feel rushed to get out and get all of this stuff unless you're just as excited like me that you wanted to really be able to try this stuff out. But it's a permanent line and it will always be there. And again, I think that she did great with her products. So all in all, these are great products. They are perfect for makeup lovers. Like that Trophy Wife, Rihanna did her thing with Trophy Wife. Like I love it because I'm a highlighter sucker. So I really want to go back on and put some more just so I can be extra, but I'm going to leave it like this for this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed my review. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe like always and I'll see you guys in my next video.